Hey there, my beloved students. I'm your teacher Aishwarya, and I welcome you to Baiju's 9th and 10th grade channel, where today we are going to be talking about a very, very important topic, and that is what stream am I going to choose after 10th grade? Now, many of you are done with your board exams and you are maybe thinking about what stream to choose next. Many of you are probably about to give your 10th grade board exams. Now, if you're going to ask me who should watch this video, I would say that both of you, the ones who are done with their boards and who are about to give their boards, all of you need to watch this video because today I will be telling you what are the few things that you need to keep in mind while you choose your stream for grade 10th. Now, of course, over a period, I would say when you were probably in 8th standard or even 9th standard, there would be a lot of people who might keep giving you a lot of suggestions, saying that, hey, I think science has a lot of scope, you should take science in 11th and 12th so that later you become an engineer. Or, you know, you're very good at biology, so I think you should become a doctor. Or there are some people who might tell that, hey, you are pretty good at talking, you have very good communication skills, and you're very good at debating, I think you should be a lawyer. So, many people keep giving us suggestions, they keep selecting or giving their opinions. Now, of course, all of that comes from a place of love, it comes from a place of support, it comes from a place of care for us, that they want to see us do well. But at the end of it, we should understand that we are the ones who are going to execute it, not them, right? Which is why we should take their suggestions into consideration, but keep few other parameters as well while we choose our stream in grade 11. So for this, you have us, right? So figure not, Baiju's is here for you. So what are the three things that you have to keep in mind? First and foremost is to identify your interests and identify your strengths. See, so far up until grade 10th, it was not that you had a particular choice that you could only do this or you could only do that. You had your five compulsory subjects that you had to attempt in your boards, right? There, even though you didn't like SST, there was no running away from social sciences. You had to do social science no matter what. But now, when you are in 11th grade, you have three streams. You have an all science stream or you have a commerce stream, and then of course you have arts and hum humanities, right? So I'm just gonna write arts here. So how do you decide which is the stream for you? Now for this, you need to have an understanding of what are the subjects that you like to study the most. Now throughout this process, you would have realized that you enjoy learning science and math. Maybe you're not a big fan of social sciences. Or you would have realized that you love social sciences and you want to learn more about it and maybe get into civil services. Maybe some of you out there probably want to, you know, go into design and maybe some of you out there want to go into engineering. Yes. So all of us have different strengths. We have academic strengths and we also have other strengths, right? So when I spoke to you about design, all of that just doesn't come from academic you know, knowledge. It also comes from your creativity. It comes from all the things that you have done in, let's say, your extracurriculars, right? So in this case, you need to give some time to yourself in order to self-reflect. Think about what I am good at. Okay, I'm good at these, these things. Make a list of it and write all of that down because this plays a very important role in helping you identify which is the next stream to take. Now, after that, once you've written down what are the things you love, Try to identify what are all the future prospects. So when I talk about future prospects, I'm talking about, okay, if I like biology, what are all the things I can do by loving biology? Or let's say I want to study biology, then what kind of jobs would I be able to get to do? Right? So you'll have to understand that. Now, how do you do that? You'll have to research. Yes. So spend about a day or two in just researching, having an in-depth understanding of how a field that you are thinking of, what is the potential that is there in this particular field. And for this, you need to do a detailed research. Make sure that you're going to the right places. See, don't watch some random, you know, let's say don't watch, see some random, you know, social media post and believe that that is true. Those are, yes, they, they are from people's experience and everything, but nonetheless, you need to make sure that you are getting through the right sources, right? Make sure you're going through the right sources in order to understand this. And if you want to know what all sources that you can use in order to get more understanding, let me know in the comments below. I will definitely be replying to you. And last but not the least is to get some counseling. Now, career counseling seems like a very heavy word, so I would just use the word counseling. Now, here it is where you talk. Now, after you have made a list, after you have done your research about all these fields, talk to people about it. Now, who should you talk to? 
you should talk to everybody around you talk to your family talk to your friends talk to your teachers very very important that you reach out to your teachers if you want to talk to us reach out to us as well right and make sure that you talk to everybody so that you get a idea see how much ever you do research there's also a ground reality of what is happening and many your many of your elders who are there in your surroundings are actively you know working or they're interacting with people so they will also know and they'll be able to guide you better and apart from this talk to your siblings as well now i would recommend that this right here is important now when i say siblings don't be like you know not not just your own siblings right if you have an older sibling maybe you have somebody in the family who is you know just out of college or starting a job or is doing or is studying in a college so talk to all of them and understand okay what did you do in 11th grade how did you decide that you wanted to take commerce how did you decide that you want to take arts or how did you decide that you want to write je mains yes so talk to them and try to get their understanding now when you do this entire thing what you would have done is that you have made a informed decision see throughout this process what will happen you will realize that there are some things that you just don't want to do you don't want to be a lawyer you do, you feel like ma'am nahi ho payega mere se lawyer banne ka or you will realize that ma'am i want to be an engineer and i think that's really meant for me or ma'am i want to save lives i want to be able to do research maybe find a cure for a disease like cancer and i want to get into the field of research so if you're on talking you will realize there are more opportunities out there for you now the reason why we have brought this is because many students including a lot of my friends as well made mistakes when they chose their stream simply because they didn't research enough and they ignored their instincts somewhere inside we know what we want to do or there's this burning passion that i want to create a impact i want to do something very big or may uh, i want to be like this person this person is my inspiration and i want to be like them but we don't know how to be like them right it's not that i want to be like them and you will become like them no but rather there are many steps that you need to go through right many uh, things that you have to do so here there are some instincts that are there within you telling you that this is what you want and this is not something that you you know you you don't want it so that your instincts are also which are very important that plays a very important role so don't forget don't ignore your instinct but rather i would say trust your instinct and go with it and last but not the least i would say don't give in to peer pressure and don't you know uh, don't stop yourself from talking to people half the time many of us this happened during when i was in school especially when i was in 10th grade and we just got out of it 95% of the students who studied in my school decided to do science and all of them so let's say 95% may say probably only 50% wanted to really do science but in that let's say remaining 45 wanted to do something else but now they are in peer pressure that are my friends are going so i should also go my friends are going to this college so i should also study here no see till uh, till 10th grade you guys all started out or you had this beautiful journey together but slowly what will happen slowly all of you have decided to take your own path right you are all moving towards your own path to success now everybody's path will look different does not mean that anyone is less successful it's just that everybody's paths are different towards it but in the meanwhile whatever you choose to do you need to make sure you do it with full commitment you do it with a complete sincerity and you will give your 100% if you have a goal and you set the goal you will ensure that you reach the goal yes that is a given no matter which stream you take what you decide to pursue and of course talk students talk to your friends talk to your family members talk to teachers whatever is running through your mind please talk to everybody and get an idea of what is happening what needs to be done because as much as research you do there should there'll be a lot more that they will be able to guide you and help you better so make sure that you do these small small steps these are very small things that you can do in your day to day life so that it will help you ease the decision of choosing a good stream right so i hope you found this short and sweet video helpful if you did don't forget to let me know in the comments of this video if you found it helpful do hit the like button so thank you so much everybody for staying with me till the very end hoping to see you all soon but up until then take care lots of love and bye bye